Welcome back to another video tutorial by Voice First Tech. Today we are going to dive into Can Fulfill Intent Request. After you've published your skill to the Alexa Skills Store, you want your customers to be able to invoke that skill to start interacting with your application without having to open up the Alexa app. What Amazon currently expects is that you open up the Amazon Alexa app, you go into the Skills section, you search for the app you want to enable, and then you enable it. That's a lot of friction and a lot to expect from a new user to be able to find your skill. It makes it nearly impossible for anybody to discover your skill naturally and organically. What we can do is add can fulfill intent request. First thing we want to do is to go into the interfaces tab and then this can fulfill intent request beta we want to flip on, save, and build. Now that seems really easy. All that that does is it says hey when you're looking for skills that can fulfill intents look for my skill. Now what we need to do is on our backend lambda function we actually need to implement these can fulfill intent request handlers so our backend skill knows how to react when Alexa goes and queries our skill to discover new apps. Now we'll go ahead and add in the documentation for the function followed by the function itself. Now because we're using Jovo we have Jovo imported up top we can just run this built-in uh, can fulfill intent handler and then inside of there we can throw an if statement based off of the intent name if it is an intent that we know how to handle then we can fulfill the intent request otherwise we uh, cannot now the only intents that I really have are automotive direct mail intent I've got a help intent I've got an unhandled I've got an end but I'm just gonna make it for my uh, automotive direct mail intent and then if it can't fulfill the request then we just say cannot fulfill request once that's saved we can run our Jovo endpoint get that webhook URL and go back over to testing so I'm gonna take the Jovo webhook URL and then throw it up in a new tab that way we can see the debugger and now I'm gonna go into here and I'm going to take a manual we're gonna go into the manual JSON file to throw in the JSON that your application would receive if Alexa sends a can fulfill intent request to your app. There is a demo can fulfill intent request JSON file I'll have posted in the description below. It's a little bit better than the one that they present on the website. It's a little bit more filled in with some random user data. So we'll take that and we'll paste it right in here and then you can already see that we are testing on the default endpoint and we'll submit the request and now in here we'll see how it responded and it looks like we responded with can fulfill intent yes which is perfect and now we can test it again by changing this uh, the name of the intent that we're searching for to something random like uh, random intent and now when we submit that instead of getting yes we return a no so the difference is if someone sends a request to go to our automotive direct mail intent then we will tell yep we know how to fulfill that intent go ahead and send the user our way otherwise if it's a random intent random intent then we want to reply with no hey we have no idea how to deal with that random intent send the user somewhere else and uh, that should be all we need to do to add so our next step is to go over to certification and we'll get everything certified real quick you can see over on the Jovo debugger when we sent those two requests we got one with a can fulfill of no and one with a can fulfill of yes, which is matches exactly what we saw in the developer portal. So we've run validation and we got zero errors and we will run functional. Always got to make sure before we certify that we go back into our endpoints tab in build and switch it back to our Lambda ARN rather than our Jovo webhook. Otherwise you will fail certification. So I'm going to take the Lambda ARN, the resource number, and I'm going to paste that. Oh, that's is not what I wanted to we will paste the Lambda ARN right there and we'll save the endpoint and then let's go back over to certification. Now that I've updated the web point everything passes and I'm ready to submit so I'll go ahead and submit that skill again and we have submitted so I went and took an existing skill automotive news added in can fulfill intent request and submitted it in less than five minutes it was a lot more difficult to add this feature before Jovo went and added it so thank you Jovo for adding on this feature for us it makes developing Alexa applications significantly faster and can fulfill intent request is a great addition I recommend adding it to any projects that you're working on to make your app more discoverable within the Alexa skill store thank you and if you've got any questions be sure to ask us in the comments below